So you've decided to sell your house, but you don't know how to get it ready to sell. So today, myself and Graham are gonna be going over the steps that you need to do to get your home ready to list. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first step would be, now that you've decided you're ready to sell your house, is to treat your home like any other commodity. It's no longer your home that you've put blood, sweat, and tears into and all of your design experience, but treat it like it's a commodity. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is declutter and depersonalize. A buyer wants to be able to envision themselves in their home. If you have an entire wall mural of your family's photos, it is very hard to picture that. If you have big clunky furniture or you just have children's toys laying around or different knickknacks like that, you want the home to basically present like a show home and not have a lot of your stuff and family pictures in it. So if you do have a bunch, clear them off. I'm not saying get rid of them all, but you don't need 100,000 photos in your living room of your family. Keep a few, try and keep it as minimal and depersonalized as possible. And that will allow a buyer to come through your home and imagine themselves living in it. Yeah, and you want the rooms to look as big as possible. So if the rooms are full of you know, exercise equipment that's not being used or other items, if you can declutter that for the period that you're listed, um, it'll just help buyers when they walk into the properties to be able to picture, the, or not even picture their stuff there, but just for every room to feel much larger than maybe it really is. Next step is take a look around your home through buyer's eyes and look at anything that's any deferred maintenance, whether that's loose handles, uh, light switches that need to be repaired or replaced, painting, anything like that, whether it's even carpets need to be cleaned if there's stains in the carpets. Like we said, we want your home to show like it's a show home so that when buyers come through, they feel like the home has been loved, it's been looked after, and if there is deferred maintenance, typically the buyers, whether they are aware of it or not, there's that feeling of maybe the home hasn't been as loved as much as it should be. Next one is gonna be thoroughly clean your home. Now, I know this seems pretty obvious, but a lot of people do miss the mark with this. Uh, it just sets a bad impression when the buyer walks in for the first time. You just wanna make sure everything is clean as possible. As we've been saying the theme throughout this video, you want it to present like a show home. I don't think anybody's ever been into a show home and they have had dirty dishes in the sink or mud all over the floors or carpet stained, etc., etc. Stuff like that, wipe down the walls, make sure your home is as clean as possible. Obviously, it is very, very tough when you are selling your home because it, it puts you out of place and you have to make sure the place is clean all the time. But I guarantee you, if you can do these from the beginning, your home will sell a lot quicker and the pain will be a lot less extended, shall we say. So Yeah. And last on our list is to improve the curb appeal. So everyone knows when you first pull up to a property, your initial uh, reaction or response can really set the tone for the rest of the viewing. So we always recommend, you know, making sure the grass is cut, the flower beds have been weeded, uh, anything like that. If you have furniture outside, that, uh, that that is looking presentable as well, so that when people do show up for their showing, that their first impressions are very positive because it does set the tone the rest of the time through the house. Yeah, so these are some relatively uh, simple things, but we like to recommend them, especially as the market has churned a little bit and um, buyers are maybe a little bit more discerning um, looking for, I guess they have more options, right? So if you can take care of quite a few of the things on this list, it will shorten the time that you're having to be on the market because we know that selling your house can be a, a disruptive time in your family and, and in your life. So if we can hit the market strong with a, looking good, um, that should shorten the time of period that you're having to go through that discomfort. Exactly, and as a added benefit to having it sell quicker, when a home sells quicker, it typically sells for much more than if a home has been on the market for 30, 60, 90 days. So the closer to the list date that it sells, usually the higher price that you get for the home as well. Yeah, so hopefully you found this helpful. Um, if you have other questions that relate to selling or even buying, there is a button just down below that you can set an appointment with us um, at your convenience and we would love to chat with you. Yeah, we happy to be talk through any of your real estate related questions. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything happening in the Calgary real estate market. Till next time. Thanks.